question ask Merrill. Things you've wanted to do and haven't yet done. Uh, often they said, you make a hell of a good Don Giovanni. Well, I've been thinking about it lately. I haven't thought about it uh, for the past 25, 26 years, but uh, I, I have been singing the arias, many of the Mozart arias, and uh, I feel it lies well in my voice. I love the personality. And one day I hope to be asked yeah. uh, by the management to, to do it, and I take a year off and study it. I think it's a tremendous role. Hey, Mozart, you have to be able to sustain that type of register which lies in the voice. And uh, there are very, very few, as you know, Stutz, Mozartian singers today. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done the count? No, no. no. But I used to study. Yeah. Yeah. I should say I was fed, mm -hmm. breastfed Mozart, Mozart. Uh, and uh, also uh, Rossini. Yeah. We used to, uh, that is my teacher, Esther, mm -hmm. so Paul Althaus, used to put me through the uh, channels of... Uh, uh, Barbara Seville, Echo Ridente, mm. and also the second aria. Yeah. Da, da, di, da, da, di, da, 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 you know, yeah. and you know when you tell it to young kids today, studs, they look at you like crazy. It's because funny when you read Caruso's book, books, his letters and stuff. He, he did vocalize, or he never sang those roles. After he'd sing Aida or a heavy part, he would come home and sing, sing the the, the arias from the Barbara Seville. Is that so true? Would lighten yeah. his voice again. Yeah, that's it's interesting. interesting. So Rossini and and Mozart. Well, here then, Meryl, uh, non più andrai. Here your Figaro. You mean I want to be a dog? Well, I, well I, it, it, it means my fantasy. Yeah. Uh, fantasy. Yeah. Uh, one day. But well, here then is uh, Meryl Figaro. But Tucker, we think of the comparison of you and Caruso often comes up. One of Caruso's most celebrated artists was that uh, of the young yeah, tenor Dio, in the Alamo That's right. Very moving. Very touching. Very moving. Aria when he knows that he has the feeling that he may not see her again. This is uh, Turidu, the fight between himself, Turidu, yeah. and Alfio. And so here he's... And I'm thinking as, as you, both of you are on tour, traveling about, I realize also you have a plane to catch. And in this album, those who won't hear during this program, you also travel, you traverse. Oh, before I ask you about uh, Fiddler on the Roof and Jewish melodies, you a cantor, choir boy, Richard Tucker, and you a semi-pro ball player, <laughs> choir boy. He also, Iago, you know, Tello. Oh, really. oh yes, I've done Iago. I, as a matter of fact, I did the last new production uh, at the Metropolitan uh, of the uh, Otello of Iago. It's a wonderful role. I think it's one of the great, great roles ever written for that. And I suppose in your case, uh, Richard Tucker, the idea of Otello to attract you. No, it's, uh, I probably should ask me that, Stutz. Uh, before I answer that question, I should like to point out, as I'm sure you did to your listeners, that in this album, Bob and I recorded arias and songs that people at the Metropolitan never had the opportunity to hear. Yeah. And the first half of the program was were arias and duets, that, but we didn't do it to Met. Yeah. You see, we had, for instance, Bob sang Mozart and uh, arias uh, from Afrikaans. And uh, new event, I did Siciliani. Best Meet Siciliani, which will be first performed next season of the Metropolitan. And then in the uh, second half, as you said, we sort of uh, slid off the, after giving him the the uh, schmaltz, as we call, in opera, mm -hmm. with the uh, familiar arias, we slid off into popular stuff, such as Bob did music from the Fiddler, and I sang uh, a very, very nostalgic Jewish song, Roger Kismet Mandel which is Raisins and Almonds. It's very and interesting. I, the audience sings along with them, coming to all audience. We had a beautiful choir behind it. So I think I'll engage for the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a variety here, obviously, in this album. 18, I believe about 18 or so. Yes. Now, what's a good way to end? We open with a duet from La Forza del Destino, and there's a powerful ending. But suppose each of you would sort of set the scene for this duet we're about to hear. All right, Bob, you start. You start it anyway. Well, I get to know him. I'm looking, by the way, before for for a young man that uh, deflowered my my sister and killed my father and so on, and and in uh, I, I get to meet uh, Richard Tucker, uh, and we become friends, eternal friends, and we pledge, uh, and then we go into battle, and he's more, almost mortally wounded. Or would we think he's mortally wounded at that time? He recovers 
and tried to kill me later. <laughs> At any rate, he gives me a key to, and he gives me a, 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 a box uh, with uh, with uh, some precious letters. Letters, and uh, but actually, that is not the duet we're going into. We did that the first. That's a long story. No, we're going to lead, this lead, lead into the final. You, you, can, you can pick it up from there. Well, when Bob sees the letters and the picture of his sister. He realizes then that this is the man he's been looking for, because he has never seen me before. But I, in the meanwhile, have retired and gave up fighting to a con uh, to a monastery. I just want to say convent, forgive me. And uh, what happens? He has searched and found me through somebody and offers to duel me to the death. You see, which I always keep refusing, mm -hmm. even after the insults. Mm -hmm. And leading into this area, he finds me and calls me every name in the book. And then I finally, when I'm grossly insulted by I him. I give him the sword, finally he takes it. I say, finalmente, which is a note. You'll As you hear yeah. with that note, finalmente, I'm ready to walk off stage. <laughs> <laughs> It's but a very exciting to wear. But it's a, a very, very exciting to wear. Well, our program, our program, this one ends with this now. We in Vano Alvaro, from Forte La Vestido, would like to thank, before we hear the duet itself, powerful, of Verdi's Richard Tucker, Robert Merrill. Thank you very much. And the album is London. They're at Carnegie Hall. Quite a live and powerful. <laughs> Thank you very much. Always love Thank you, Stas, for having us. Since both the guitars say, Grazie, Grazie. Prego, prego, prego.